Okay, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Um, switch to this. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Desai, the Green Leader. Today we're back, back with some Solaris, something I haven't played in a very long time. And this, something that, in fact, I've designed this overlay specifically for. So I'm very glad to finally be able to try it out with a new overlay. How's it going, Alien King? Thank you so much for the host. Uh, I'm glad you're having a good night. Um, yeah, I'm doing really well. And as I said, the, the puppy's doing great. She is super cute. And, uh, yeah. Having a lot of fun with her tonight. She, uh, she was feeling really, like, rambunctious. She, she really wanted to play tonight. So we have a little, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We have a little uh, a toy with a, it's basically a rope. And on, on the one end of the rope, um, well, there's actually three knots, right? There's one one on each end, one right in the middle, and in the one quarter or half of the rope, there's a little tennis ball as well. And so we were playing with her and just doing like a little tug of war thing with her and you know, just basically, you know, just kind of just playing around with her, just getting her to run around and, and kind of tire her out a bit. So, um, yeah, she's, she's, she's acclimating quite well. She's still really young, though, so she's still not potty trained. Um, so she's still kind of peeing in the house, but we have a whole bunch of like uh, pads for her to basically go go to the restroom on, and um, it's supposed to turn whatever you know, it's supposed to turn her pee into gel, and it's really nice and useful if she goes and poops on there too. And so it makes for a very quick and easy cleanup, and it keeps everything contained without it soaking into the carpet. Um, and thankfully, our on top of that, the carpet's really old anyway, so we're going to be r ripping that stuff out as soon as we get a chance, and we're waiting for her to get potty trained to do it, so. Um, but yeah, she's she's really cute. She's been having fun. Um, Shaka. Shaka initially, so our other dog, Shaka, he's he's a cross blue healer um, with something else. We think Swiss Mountain Dog, because he's got that exact color. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, he loved her initially, but um, she, when she plays, she likes to nip. So she likes to take little bites, and particularly a, a right around his face, and he does not like that at all. So he's kind of soured on her a little. And, uh, but uh, she's now warmed up quite a bit to Shaka. She loves him. She wants to play with him as much as possible, and he's not having it, so. <laughs> but yeah. The, uh, the puppy is doing well, and Shaka's just surviving it. Um, but yeah, tonight we're playing some Stellaris, back to the actual game. Um, we're playing some Stellaris, we're getting back into it. It's been a long time since we've actually played it, um, several weeks for sure, as well as the fact that, you know, we were gone for vacation and then being sick, so we're back into it. I don't remember a thing of what I was doing, and then... Uh, uh, I got also sidetracked by the uh, by the fact that now pa uh, Paradox is now wanting us to put in or have an account in order to play. So I'm not sure what or why, or maybe there was a way to skip it. I don't know. New launcher, trying to get used to it. I got everything set up, good to go. Yeah, pups are fun, aren't they? Puppies are very, very fun. Um. Hopefully, hopefully, I think he'll warm up to her. I think it's just that she right now has very sharp little teeth. And we're wary of letting him kind of boss her around because of how tiny she is in comparison to him. And so we're trying to make sure he doesn't somehow pulverize her because, you know, as I said, she is so tiny by comparison. So I'd, I'd, I'd hate to have him, like, nip back and somehow, you know, like, crush her. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, we want to get her a little more grown up, and we want to hopefully help her uh, nip a little less um, when when they're playing. Because she she bites hard, so she was nipping me as well when we were playing with a little, little rope. And uh, her teeth are sharp. Her teeth are definitely sharp. So, you want to be careful around that, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, so... I'm actually going to switch over to the game view, my nice little hotkey, and uh, we're going to go ahead and try and see what we got to do. So we are here, we are the United Confederation of Nations, 
and we are pretty much these guys over here. It's a relatively small, like for how big the map is, it's a relatively small number of population, or civilizations, I should say. <clears throat> we have the Chim Order to our north. They're friendly, they're our allies, we have a defensive pact with them. Everything's relatively good with them. Um, to our south, we have the United Sibulon States. They're a vassal of ours, as well as the Gamma Rev Alliance. They're also a vassal of ours. Um, well, uh, next to them is the Sovereign Helden Worlds. They're a vassal of the Chim Order, so they are automatically our friends. And over here is the Exodar Star Collective. These guys are not friendly, to say the least. Um, and we are right now, we've been trying to get... Uh, We've been trying to get uh, some area from them because we need to try and give uh, some area to our protectorate here, the uh, Dynastic Union of Kagaton. So we did get them some area, and we're going to try and get some more from them. Um, also over here, here's the Zoom Union. They're another vassal of ours. We conquered them because they were constantly... <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Remnants from my little cold. Um, they were constantly threatening us, constantly causing problems. They went to war with the Chim Order multiple times, but we decided to go ahead and conquer them outright. They're now friends. They're friendly. We're happy. In fact, the Zoom Union were... Uh, uh, they were actually rebels of the Zoom Purifiers, which was the original guys. We conquered the Zoom Purifiers and then gave a whole bunch of territory to the Zoom Union, so everything's relatively happy there. Um, also up here are the Arisian Ancients. They're friends. They're a fallen empire, so they're pretty strong. They are friends of ours. And then lastly, there is the Akano Vestige. These guys are douchebags. They have started many fights with us. They are very aggressive, and they're super douchey. Um, we have gotten to a point with the Chim Order, that the Chim Order and us, we can actually beat up on the Ancano Vestige, so we're not too concerned about them. They actually, from the looks of it, did start a war with us last time. Um, so we're just going to have to go ahead and pretty much conquer them. And that's the plan. Um, we're going to take them over one system at a time, and... Uh, yeah, hopefully the Exodar Star Collective won't decide to fight us in the meantime. Um, if I also remember correctly, we were still trying to... My guess is we were still trying to actually reorganize our fleets and actually try and... Uh, 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 what's the word? Reinforce our fleets as they were beaten up pretty badly with our fight against the Exodar Star Collective. Are those uh, who you are conquered ever really friendly, or are they just compliant? So, um, you can kind of tell how friendly they are um, in their contacts. So, this is normally, like, their opinion of us. So, like, here's our protectorate, right? The guys that we actually gave the systems to over here. They're very friendly to us. The Zoom Union, the guys who we helped... Um, they are very friendly to us. Um, again, because we've got trade deals with them, or at least we used to. Uh, I don't think we do anymore. But we have trade deals with them. That they asked to be our protectorate, and so we have decided to do that. Um, we have a migration treaty with them. We have a commercial pact with them. So we've got stuff in place. Um, there are other... Uh, uh, there have been other times in which a conquered foe has not been as friendly, but normally what we've done is we've just basically tried to wear them down by uh, uh, just giving them stuff, you know, giving them favorable trade deals uh, when we do conquer them. So at least it's not like they're, you know, it's, it's, it's not like they're being treated badly once they are conquered. They are, you know, they're given a whole bunch of technology and they're given a whole bunch of uh, goods to try and help them improve. Um, so we've we've worked we've worked hard to basically try and have a good uh, relationship with our vassals. Um, these guys are a little pissed with us, and that's mainly because we broke a trade deal. And we didn't break it on purpose. We actually ran out of materials, 
and so we couldn't afford to continue, and so it just automatically broke it, and we didn't mean to. And so they are now very pissed with us. Well, when I say very pissed with us, you see the where it says broken trade deal. Um, we're at a negative 186 in terms of opinion. Um, so that that has caused some issues, but then we gave them a favorable trade deal back. They're, that's now plus 96. Kind of counters it, but uh, they will eventually calm down from that and hopefully be a little more happy about it. So it's it's just dependent on how you treat your vassals afterwards. Um, we've we've always tried to work very hard to be be friendly with our vassals. So, um, yeah, the guys right now who are the most angry with us is. Uh, these guys, they are not happy with us at all. We've, but they've, they're not happy with anybody. They don't like anybody on their borders, and they have been attacking us pretty much ever since. I mean, we have this area here, but we intentionally did not get the system here, and instead the Chim Order decided to come in and take these systems here because reasons. And now they've pissed off the Akano Vestige, and so as a result, we've been dragged into a war with them against these guys, because we have a defensive pact with the Chim Order. Um, on a side note, so this is, uh, they just recently put out a patch. I have no idea what it does. I have no idea how it has improved or changed things, so I have no idea from this point. I, I know there are going to be differences, because... First of all, the, the biggest one being the launcher is so different. The launcher is massively different. Well, not massively. It, it's a very nice redesign. I very much enjoy the redesign, but it is different. Um, and it did force me to uh, create a new, create an actual Paradox software profile, which I'm relatively fine with. I don't have much issues with it. I prefer not to, but I mean, sure, okay. Um, so that was that was the one thing that kind of threw me off, but I, I do wonder as to what gameplay... Normally when they put out a, a decent change like that, there's normally going to be some gameplay changes slash, you know, hopefully improvements um, as to what they've done before. Paradox is known for lots and lots of changes over time. What I mean is, and when I say lots, and, I mean lots and lots of little changes over time to improve the game. So... Like, I started playing, I mean, the game came out in 2016, I started playing it in 2016, and the game today is leaps and bounds ahead of where it was in 2016. Um, and in my opinion, it's been improved uh, a lot since then. Um, with that said, it is definitely 100% different. Um, and so I do wonder what they're with the latest patch, how how different things are going to be. And I haven't looked at anything yet. I haven't looked at the planets, haven't looked at the fleets yet, haven't looked at anything, so... We'll see. We'll see as we go ahead. Anyway, as I was saying, let's get back into the actual game. Um, so, we are trying to decide what we need to do here. We do need to actually take this... Uh, we're going to start taking over systems, actually. We're going to take over the... Tuban first. I have these guys go here. Make sure everybody... Yeah, it looks like everybody's already repaired. So we're gonna go take over Tuban first. Strike Force Charlie. Strike Force Charlie. What happened to Strike? Upgrade fleet. Um... I don't know what's going on here with Strike Force Charlie. That is way too weak. What happened with Man, I must have redesigned the fleet a bit because I was I do remember trying to get bigger ships into the fleets, which I think would work better. Um oh, let's go to Charlie. Mega Bravo Alpha Charlie. Yeah, I think I was... That's right, I believe I was re... That's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. I, I'd reorganized the fleets quite a bit. And we're already reinforcing them. Um, why don't we go ahead... We're going to send in... 
not Charlie, but we're going to send in Alpha. Alpha, I believe, is already set and ready to go. Right? Yeah, Alpha is already set and ready to go. So here we're going to send Alpha in. We're going to go with it. We're going to let Charlie get reinforced with those two ships. As they get reinforced, then we'll send them out to go and deal with this area. I do wonder if also they... Oh, poor Governor Tip. Let's get a new governor quickly. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need a recruit. There's one already. Perfect. Um, I also wonder if they've optimized some things. Because I know this is late game. Um, in late game, things get very uh, jumpy. The game is very CPU heavy, and late game there's a lot of stuff that's going on in the background. A lot of fleet movement decisions, a lot of uh, stuff with, uh, you know, like your incomes. So all, all that is really affected and, you know, done in the background, so your CPU gets a little shunted. Refugees from the Star Star Collective. Landed on Targon Prime. Which, let's quickly take a look. Looks like everything is relatively the same here. I like that. Good. Population... Three jobs available. Initializing hostile engagement protocols. Yeah, hello. Let's go ahead and slow it down. I always like to watch these. Anyway, how's your night going, Alien King? I hope when you're hoping you're having a good night. <clears throat> In fact, weren't you streaming tonight? By the way, if if anybody's not familiar, I know there's not a lot of us in here. But if anybody's not familiar, you guys should go check out Alien King. He's a great guy. Nice, chill streamer. And I know he's been doing a bunch of stuff lately. Red Dead Redemption and all that other stuff, so you guys should definitely go check him out if you're interested in that. A lot of story-based games, but a lot of stuff that's co-op. I know he's doing some Borderlands, uh, Borderlands co-op with a, another buddy of his, so. If you guys are interested, you should definitely go check him out. I like this, we're, we're doing a pretty good amount of damage. I don't... Oh, man. Oh, man. The United States is just kicking out people left, right, and center. Next, our start collector from the United States. There are so many, so many Corvettes that actually did very well. Um, we're gonna go ahead and well, we need to let that thing actually get you know reset up again. Construction Prime project going concluded. On. Yeah, 
that sucks. Uh, I, I wish you would... And so it's, Okay, so this is something that I really wish that they had done. Um, instead of, say, just sending, you know, refugees automatically being sent to a specific planet or area, I wish there was a way for me to say, no, 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 send these people, send these specific people to a specific planet, they'll be safe the there, and we have room for them to actually, you know, grow there. Instead, it's the other way around, where, uh... You know, they they don't. You know, they just automatically go where the game decides that they should go, and I'm not really a fan of that. Sixty-six. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be interesting. However, it is eight shit. No, twelve shit. Twelve ships. Not, not the other word. Ships. <sighs> this is gonna be an interesting fight. Wow, this is a in very interesting fight. We've already killed three of their ships. Um. Identify okay, good. Good good good. We're in the lead now. Pretty devastating battle though. They came in real strong. Uh, I'm just glad we were able to hold them off. I was a little concerned there. Yeah, boom. Levels everywhere. Noise strike force alpha. They're very damaged though. We need to get them reinforced ASAP. Is this thing not back up yet? them. 25 ships lost. It's a big yikes. Uh, let's take a look at Alpha. We definitely lost some ships though. We are down pretty hard. Um, we've lost six cruisers. Wow, we lost a lot of destroyers as well. We lost surprisingly only six corvettes. That is actually quite amazing. Charlie, we're still missing the one battleship, but that's fine. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna send. Eh, maybe not. Fleet enhancement supplied. We're gonna let them get rested. These guys have been pretty much, pretty much beaten, beaten pretty badly. Um, where's our armies? They need to come here ASAP. Same with these guys ASAP, please. These guys also need to get here ASAP. They need to merge with, uh... You know, they need to merge with Bravo Company. There's not Bravo, Omega. Omega. What am I thinking? Omega Company. Is 
size fleet. It's about time you guys sent something worthwhile. Ah, uh, they're attacking from the other side. Okay, I like it. I've got some respect for you. Thanks, buds. Okay, um... Who's doing what? Who's going where? What are you? Strike Force Alpha. Okay. Not Strike Force Alpha, sorry. That is Anti-Pirate Force Alpha. Um... Go to the fleet manager here for these guys. Construction ah. project concluded. There's the last ship. They are going to be there in how long? 115 days. Okay. That is relatively fine. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to have Charlie. Oh, sorry. Charlie. Come over here and we're going to go beat the crap out of these guys. Because we're all cool like that. <coughs> that is leftover. Oh man, that's leftover annoyance from my cold. Um, still seeming to cough out mucus from my lungs from when I was sick, which is surprising as I didn't really get really a lot of the infection in my lungs. That's what's throwing me off. Excuse me. Okay, Alpha's been repaired. Ah. Hey, how's it going, Nori Pete? Yeah, I'm still not done with it. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry to disappoint. I'm still not done with this. It's late game, and to be honest, I've never played late game, so this is still really new to me. Oh gosh, Institute, increased benefits, blah de blah de blah. Oh yikes. So I'm I'm still still working my way through it. Not bad, just finished coaching a new overwatching. Ooh, very nice. How are they looking? Uh do you think they're gonna be you think they're gonna be any good or, or are you are you concerned? Their army's looking 500. Okay, that's fine. Um, Uskion, you guys need to go and merge with these guys. Yep. They communicate well. That is very good, actually, with a team game like that, so... I can appreciate that. They just need to be consistent with their target, target calls and ability cooldowns. Yeah, yeah. Very important stuff for, uh... Construction project completed. Oh, refugees. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that is definitely very important for those kinds of games. Rothon Prime. I don't remember this. Where was this? In the Lotharos Prime sector. No, I don't want to move the sector. I just want to just show me the thing. Where was this? Oh, that's cool. Forgot I actually landed here. Oh, I should probably decide what I want here. Mm. Pause for a second. Right now we have set it to automated, so it's just gonna do whatever. Um. And when to swap or when to know what to know what's going wrong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like they will get killed and do the same thing in of three times and die all three. Yeah. I mean, it... it yeah, it, it's, it's one of those things where it takes a while to get used to everything and make sure you know what, what you're actually going to do. Uh, mining output. I want something that's going to be like a mix of mining and generators, because that's basically like what we've got. We've got so much food. Forge world, industrial, refinery world. 
Much of the planet's surface is covered in a vast network of pipes, refineries, blah blah blah. Habitability and happiness, engineering and research. It's interesting. Tech world. Uh, this world is a seat of scientific research and technological advancement. Engineering research. Eh, that's a possibility. Fortress world? No. Rural world? Maybe. It's also easier to see that from a third party cam. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, it, it is so much easier to see kind of what's going on with other people than it is to see when you're playing yourself. So I, I very much understand that. I mean, I've, I've done that many times where if I was watching somebody play, I'd know exactly what's going on. But if I'm in the middle of the situation, I'm, you know, I'm useless. I don't know. You know, I don't always recognize the problem that's actually going on and therefore don't quite know how to address it. Particularly in games like Overwatch, where team composition is super important. Industrial. Planet specialized in manufacturers, workshop, civilian industries. No. We'll see. We'll just let it go. We'll let it go and do its thing. Therium Prime, you guys need to be heading out this way. Here, come on, give me my own. Ah, because I should probably embark them, shouldn't I? Yeah. Charlie Company. Let's get you guys out here, shall we? There we go. Um, there's transport fleet. It's not doing anything. So if we do that. Let's get that and Omega. Let's get the merge, please. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. Omega, what are you doing? Stop. generals available. Why did I not know this? Okay. Merge, please. And they should be merging with Omega Company. Perfect. And then Omega Company, you guys... Actually, you know what? We're leaving Omega Company here. These guys need to go and merge with Bravo Company. There we go. It should tell me exactly what it is. It just says 1K. I don't know if that's 1.5 or, you know, 0K. You know, you, you kind of get what I'm saying? Like, there should be a little more information there than just that. Charlie Company, Omega Company, Bravo Company. Okay, so we're gonna have Bravo and Charlie. We're gonna basically have them ready to go. You know what? We are gonna have Alpha come up here and get that sorted out. That's nonsense.
11,000 alloys to reinforce them. We have plenty to be able to do that, so we're going to do that. Okay, let's go to the fleet manager. I do want to actually... There we go. Uh, just the Corvettes. There are two Maelstrom Corvettes and two Gorgon. Lots of things are happening. Oh my gosh. Fantastic. Double fantastic. And more damn refugees. Holy cow. One thing. Yeah, it would definitely be one thing if, say, you know... It would be one thing if we could tell them to not uh, be sending in refugees. I mean, they're our vassal. Why is the Sibulon, United Sibulon states being kind of douchey, despite being the vassal? I don't know. Speaking of which, I need to actually send them some, some stuff. Where is the United Sibulon states? United Sibulon... States. We already have a trade deal going with them. Still not happy about that, but that's fine. Um, let's take a look at that. We're giving them alloys, moats, gases, crystals, all that stuff. Still pathetic. They have equivalent tech power because we integrated them and then removed them, or, you know, vassalized them again, so. So we got back on the force. Striking hostile station. For Tuban. Tuban one. You know, we can actually send in Bravo Company in the meantime. I know they're going to get merged, but... I'd rather just have them go ahead and help out with the fight here. And the armies. I wonder if these guys actually gain... Oh, no, no, oh, sorry, that's armies. I'm talking about, uh... Ship here. I wonder if they actually gain experience from... Corporal Bombardment. That's... That would be relatively interesting. Um, nice, we didn't lose anybody, so that's good. Looks like they're fully healed as well. Can have them come down here? So they can help support everything. Looks like these guys are fighting. Oh yeah, they're doing they're doing yeoman's work. Although they, mm, I don't want them to lose. And oh no 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 no! Looks like they are going to win. If you notice the actual health of the station is pretty low. back. They're going up and merging, so that's perfect.
Construction project concluded. What did they construct? Okay, they let they got that to the second level. Okay. Construction project concluded. Three jobs available, not enough people to fill them though. So that's Prothon. What about uh Balon? So it is a generator world, okay. Where are these guys going? Oh, that's Charlie, perfect. Perfect timing, we're gonna have them go there too. Else is here. Tubin, they're merging, merging with Bravo Company. Nice. It's Bravo Company. They're 1.8. Okay, so yeah, they're very close to two. Two destroyers right there. Fantastic. These guys landing them slowly one at a time, they're gonna get their asses handed to them. Holy cow. Robotic shell crackers. Interesting. See, I'd rather have the Gene Warriors. They seem stronger. Right there, 29, whereas the, these guys are 103 each. slower than I thought. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is Sibylon Claris. Who's a... Vanguard, but again, who is that from? Oh, that's gotta be from the construction sovereign, project sovereign of open worlds. Uh, the Bors Starbase has finished construction view. Okay. These guys suck. These guys, uh, uh, it's, I, I wish I could rearrange them. So, if I'm reading this correctly, what's happening is these guys are fighting these guys. I think. I, I'm not quite sure how the whole invasion stuff works. The the land fighting.
course, keep in mind there's a lot of stuff going on. So things might just be going slowly. Construction project concluded. So you go take a look and see how many are in the core. Defeated them. And there we go. Okay. Can we please merge, please? Thank you. We've got 3,000 there, so we're going to need both Alpha and Bravo. We are going to send Strike Force Charlie in. They're actually fully, fully repaired and ready to go. We're going to send them in here, kick some ass. Construction project concluded. Sibylon, United Sibylon States shouldn't be fighting these guys at all. They don't even have any military. It's really going on there, but okay. Um, <clears throat> Ooh. That'd be relatively interesting. Fixing up the Cybrax stuff would be kind of cool. Um, let's see what else we're doing. We got cruisers. Actually, you definitely have a much better evasion rate from the looks of it. Construction project concluded. And we're just shredding through that system's armor. Through the station's armor, I should say. and we've got the system under our control. There we go. They got those armies. And then we do the same thing here. How many? 528. Okay. Deep space construction site. Planned gateway in the Nana system. It's now in place. We have the necessary resources. Construction of the actual gateway may commence at any time. Let's go here. That's right, we were wanting a gateway here. Concluded. 
Alright, we've already got a natural wormhole. We want an actual, uh, gateway. There we go. Okay, once they're done repairing, should be pretty soon. Um, we'll be ready to go ahead and move out. Oh man. Elvin, Rolferp, Edichim, Gorf. Man, sucks. I don't quite get why they're just kicking out so many people. So, so dumb. Um, let's go ahead and, you know, I think we can go. Start kicking ass and taking names. So there's Bravo Company. How is Strike Force Alpha doing? Back up to 40k. Once we start seeing destroyers, right? Once we actually get this up to six, then I don't mind having them move out, taking over this system. Right? Once we have them taking over these systems, I'm, I'm fine with us moving out. Destroyers and system. Wow. So Omega's already fixed up. Bravo is over here. Pretty good. Not sure why they're down to ships, but I don't mind that. That's fine. It's not a major issue. Now let's look at Alpha. Alpha's over there getting reinforced. That's right. Foxtrot is over here. Let's get rid of the... Construction project concluded. At least rid of some of them, anyway. There we go. There's Epsilon. They need to be... They need to be upgraded. We're going to go ahead and do that. They at least have two... Two shipyards, so they'll get upgraded fairly quickly. Well, double the speed of what it used to be before when you just have one. So now you're getting two ships at the same time. Um, let's go back over here. Let's see how Alpha's doing. No. Yep. And we're actually going to go ahead and send... Charlie Company down here. Charlie Company could definitely use some uh, some experience for sure. Looks like the station is nearly back up. Construction project concluded. This cruiser, finally, okay. That one is also a cruiser, okay. And we got one cruiser, okay. So we got three cruisers incoming. Once they actually merge, I'm 
perfectly fine. Uh, four, actually. I'm perfectly fine with then sending them to the next... to the next area. Right now they're sitting at 45. sectors. doing that at least that way we've got a shared stockpile set up and ready to go commencing planetary incursion there we go Charlie's getting in some action finally what are these guys xenomorph ooh that's going to be an interesting fight. We definitely have the, the strength of numbers on our side. I mean, we've got 2,000 versus their 600. We'll do fine. The question is just how much is how much devastation are we, is, is uh, Charlie Company going to have? In the meantime, let's take a look at Bravo. Bravo Strike Force Alpha. There we go. First cruisers in play. Second, third, and fourth, I believe. Looks like there's actually two cruisers in there. Nice. Oh, there's a lot of armies there. I sincerely hope they merge before they actually do anything stupid. As soon as we have uh, this one guy, as soon as it gets up to five cruisers, we're going to send him out. Five, sending them out. We'll have Bravo Company come in and if there are any planets here, which I don't think there are. No, there is. There's one. There's one. If... Oh, the Chim Order. Okay, that's fine. And they've declared them arrival as well, so that's nice. Construction project concluded. Some bizarre things going on. What's going on on Prothon? Yeah, these built a city district. Okay. Currently, it's a tech world. I don't know why. There's no tech stuff here. There is a heritage site. But that, although, that does do society research. I forget about that. Planetary incursion initiative successful. Nice. 
Okay, General Boca has become more experienced, but with this experience, it's become. Oh gosh, no. General has become quite uh, obdurate and is having difficulty accepting new ideas. Stubborn. I can live with stubborn. It's actually alright. Doesn't bother me that much. like he's relatively unscathed. They lost one army for sure. Vision is over. It looks like we're having our fight here. We are quote-unquote overwhelmed, but I don't think we'll have much issue. They're actually doing much better. They have a much better hit ratio than we do. It's never a good sign. But we are doing a massive amount of damage against their... I mean, look, their shields are already down. Their armor's nearly finished. Wow, okay, our hit rate has increased. We're at 70, now we're at 80. They've dropped a little... Construction project concluded. And we're gonna have them very shortly. And kaboom. Okay. Nope, no, 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 no. Go here. Actually, no, go here and just rest up. Thankfully, most of them have, uh, so like, let's take a look at the destroyer, shall we? Um, what? Oh, they don't have what I think they had. I thought they had the... I thought they had the reparative hull. They do not. Generative hull, sorry. the Empire Capital. That's a big yikes for them. They've got quite a few armies in place, and they're going to be pretty much just wailing on them from orbit. Fleet enhancements applied. Mm. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. Those ships that were 
Are they Strike Force Epsilon? They have been properly fixed up and improved. And they had a very slight increase. They went from 25 to 27. It's not bad. Not great either. Spaceport's sustaining damage. But Hold on, where where do we where? What? What spaceport? I don't Are there lies? Are there lies going on in my game right now? What spaceport is sustaining damage? So I'm not seeing a single spaceport that would indicate that it's under damage. Oh, lies. Lies, lies, lies. Game, why are you lying to me? I don't know. Build a station here, please. Thank you. Let's take a look at the invasion quickly. taking over everything except for this last sector and they're working on that. I don't see any... No, there's one planet here. Mm, I don't think they're gonna... Well, they might. I don't know. That, this one, this fight's gonna be cutting it close. supposed to be with them are with them. I can go and give them a hand. I'm concerned. Concerned for their well-being. And they are nearly done. I don't think they lost a single one, which is perfect. Due to a major clerical error, ports, sorry, parts of Valus Prime has fallen behind in infrastructure maintenance and according, sorry, and accommodation services. The people live in rather bleak conditions and will not tolerate it for long. Remedy these problems. Remedying these problems will cost us time and effort.
Hold on, colony is being automatically developed. Planetary incursion initiatives. Have I not? Oh, that would explain so much. Mission's over. Construction project concluded. Let's, let's go back to the planets. We're colonies. Refinery, refinery, refinery. Wait, I have to turn that on? Okay. Most interesting. Most interesting indeed. Whoa. Yeah, Kano Vestige made peace with the Chim Order. Oh. That's insane. It's a big yikes. We have some Ancano now. Ooh. We have eight of them. Now that's interesting. Construction project concluded. Leave this to the big guy. Alrighty then. This is going to be interesting. So we have a city on one of the uh, fallen empires. That's crazy. Pause. I said pause, please. Come on, game. Come on, game. You, you can... There you go. The unprotected trade route that passes through Kodraka system has attracted the attention of a roving band of pirates. These outlaws have gathered a sizable fleet that is intercepting much of the trade system. The system's trade. They must be dealt with. Yikes, it's a 1k fleet. Guys, are the clo uh, uh, Hold on. Let's take a look at the trade route here. So they are sending stuff just fine. Incoming trade routes from here. I shouldn't have any incoming trade routes. What? Ah, there we go. Yeah, they only have outgoing. The actual effect of piracy, okay.
Okay, we're gonna get these guys. Come here and kick some ass. Because the hell, dude. And my screen has done it again. My, uh... Chat laptop. Well, not my chat laptop, but my chat computer. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's doing Receiving this. Receiving transmission. From who, where, and why. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. Active. What the hell is going on with my other PC? My other PC's been playing up lately. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to take a look at it. Because there's no reason for it to be doing what it's doing. Input control. There's nothing on there. Go to the menu. Let's go to the input control again. Let's go back to the DVI. just showing a black screen. There's no reason for it to be doing that. No reason whatsoever for it to be doing this. I don't quite get what's going on. to do, do what I'm about to do, which is basically force the PC to, uh, yeah, force the PC into a forced restart. Stupid. Hate having to do that. Really hate having to do that. Anywho, <clears throat> excuse me. These guys return to base. Same with these guys. Same with these guys. No, their base is not too bon. Why would. Oh, okay. These guys, where's your base? Bond Station is not your base. I don't know what is going on here. Um, it's Bravo Company. Charlie Company is from... I know where Charlie Company is from. They are from... Uh, not the Sun Station. Charlie Company is from Lyrum Prime. That's where we're sending them. Um, Bravo Company. Don't remember where they're from. Ribbon Core.
I'm also very curious how the Ancana Vest is just gonna handle that. They're quite angry. Wow. The little station's actually been uh, putting up quite a fight. That's pretty cool. Okay. Trade route? Where is this trade route coming from? Looking in like that, let's go ahead and look at... Uh, there's a way to... Uh, it's Alt? Yes, there we go. We have Alt. This trade route is coming. Like, they're, we're getting a bunch. There's no... There's an odd situation here. So we're sending in... Uh... Sending zero. Right, they're sending zero. Ah, see, that's sending in three. Okay, so that needs to be. Let's do it like that where it goes there to there. Amen? What? What has just happened? Something has happened. I just got a hosted from looking at this correctly. Yeah, McConnell TV raid with 50. Holy cow. Thank you guys so much for the raid. I really do appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. I'm Green Leader 87. Um, I'm a nerd that likes to play uh, Stellaris and um, a bunch of different games. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Holy cow. And thank you so much for the raid, McConnell TV. How's your night going? How's your stream? What were you playing? Um, yeah, welcome to the stream, guys. Thank you so much. We are right now playing some Stellaris. And let's get into the galaxy mode. We are playing as the United Confederation of Nations. Bit of a play on the uh, uh, United Federation of Planets from Star Trek. Um, Trying to do uh, a somewhat, uh, you know, friendly situation with uh, everybody. And uh, trying to be friends, but unfortunately we have had to conquer a few people. Um, including the United Sibilon States, which to be fair, they were part of the Great Khan event and they did attack us first. So, um, Let's see what we got here. We were playing... Sorry, I gotta read off my phone. We were playing a pacifist empire, and I hate pacifists. <laughs> yeah. Pacifists are a... Uh, interesting way to play. I can understand that very much. Holy cow. Hold on. Sorry. Get, thank you so much for the follow. Let's... McConnell TV. Thank you so much for the follow. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for being here. And thank you for... Sending your, your viewers my way through, with the raid. I really do appreciate it. Oh, man. Uh, and 63RX3R0. Welcome to the Green Squadron. Thank you so much for the follow. I have no idea how to say your name. <laughs> but thank you for the follow. I really do appreciate it. Um, sorry, I'm also trying to deal with... Some minor, minor hiccups with my weird. It's anger zero. Okay, okay, that is not how I read that at all. But I, I see, I, I see it now. I see it now. 
<laughs> Just call me Anchor. I will. Thank you so much for the follow. I really do appreciate it. Oh, man. Sorry, I'm, I'm having all sorts of wonky little issues. I'm late game right now with this playthrough, so not only uh, are we kind of busy with everything. We just finished a war here with a fallen empire. We beat them. Um, we still have yet to properly conquer them, though. Hmm. Well, that's going to be a rough one. Yes, United Federation of Planets, basically. We call ourselves the United Confederation of Nations, but that's basically what it is. What is going on? Oh, gosh. They've been so focused right now on military because we've been in a series of wars against these guys up here. A fallen empire named the Ancano Vestige. They keep attacking us or our allies. And then uh, when we're not fighting them, we're fighting these guys who are attacking us because they're a hive mind and they don't trust us. And then we happen to not guarantee their not guarantee their uh, independence. And so they decided that uh, we were worth fighting. And so they've now fought us quite a bit. Um, last time we beat them. So I think we've gone to war with these guys twice. They are called the Ixadar Star Collective. Um... We basically ended in a stalemate the first time we fought. The second time we fought, we actually beat them. Uh, we were able to get these star systems for our little protector that's here. So. But yeah, basically the United Federation of Planets. Um, so yeah, we, we, we can go through this quickly. We are... Over here, the the sun system or the soul system, whichever you prefer, is right here. This is where we started, and we expanded out from here. We met these guys, the Sibulon forces, which were initially a uh, what were they called? They're basically a conate, right? They're, they're part of the Great Con event, but before they become a conate, they were uh, like raiding parties that were constantly harassing us. We met these guys, the Sovereign Helping Worlds. They're they're relatively friendly. We made out alliances with them, and we just lost somebody. We'll deal with them in a second. They're just helping out with research. And well, let's do this guy. Okay. Construction project concluded. I feel like that was not the guy I just recruited. In which case, why do we recruit him? Okay. Back to the assisting the research. Are you using Enterprise slash Constitution class and the like? Um, no, we're not. So it's a very loose uh, basing of Star Trek. It's not really Star Trek, not Star Trek. Um, it's it's not really like a uh, very. I don't think the right way to word this. Not very true to form, right? It's Star Trek. And just we're we're trying to emulate them more than anything else. Um, I'd love to, once I'm done with this playthrough, uh, there's a there's a Star Trek mod, um, and I forget what it's called, uh, but it basically has a whole bunch of events and um, situations that are set up like, uh, like the show, um, and so I would like to actually do a playthrough of that uh, the next time we go through, and we'd have, you know, the Vulcans, the Romulans, the... The Klingons, the Cardassians, all these, all these other people thrown in the mix. Right now, we just got generic, random creatures uh, that we're dealing with, right? N nothing that particularly, you know, comes off as as any of the real races of Star Trek. So, we'll we'll be doing that next time, uh, or at least in my next playthrough. But yeah, we're pretty late game. My my goal is, and there's no real true ending with this uh, setup. I just had it such that there's no real time ending. Um, and uh, what I'm, what my goal is, is to try and federate with my allies. And for those that won't federate, we at least try and conquer or vassalize or something. I'm I'm still trying to figure that out. But we're trying to make it such that we're all either working together or conquering whoever's not working with us. Speaking of which, now that we're now that they're not at war, should actually be confederating with the Chim Order. Let's not 
confed federating with them. We are not going to be able to do it. I don't like the fact that we have wars of aggression. Although, to be fair, I mean, the... The Federation of Nations didn't really have wars of aggression, so that kind of makes sense. Okay, I wonder what'll happen if we change this. Okay, so let's go ahead and change that policy. As soon as I find my policies button. It's been a while since I've actually played, too, so... I'm a little rusty. It's been a, over a month, and... Didn't actually realize there was a new update recently, so... I have no idea what changed. Um... Okay, violence is only last resort to ensure the integrity of our nation. We must further our intents even when they run contrary to the interests of others. Uh, claiming other systems is only allowed during defensive wars or against assault empires. That's interesting. My guess is defensive wars is the most uh, restrictive. Liberation wars is the less restrictive. And then... Uh, Okay, we're going to change this from unrestricted to liberation only. We're going to see how that uh, changes things. <laughs> You're a total noob when it comes to stars. No worries, man. There's nothing wrong with that. We all got to start somewhere. Um, to be fair, I'm kind of a noob when it comes to late game stuff. So, uh, defensive war wars is frustrating. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. I don't like the idea of... Cassius Belly on them. Fascinating. Construction project concluded. Well, I just wanted to see if they... Oh, yes, it did. Yes, it did. I love that. I love that very much. We're... We're the first time we're actually going to be in a federation. Here we go. Here we go. We're doing it. We're doing it right now. No, they're going to accept. It's just a matter of getting them to do it. Yeah, I, I will tend to say that a lot, particularly with this game. Federation formed. Oh, that's fantastic. Love it. I, I, you have no idea how long I've been waiting to finally federate with these guys. But they've been constantly saying no because of the our, our war stance. Oh, that feels good. That feels very, very good. They've leveled up. Step one. Yes, that's the one. That's the one. Thank you, step one. That's exactly the one I was talking about. Star Trek New Horizons. That's the one I want to play through after this playthrough to actually get the Star Wars experience. Or not Star Wars. Star Trek experience. Because um, they, they actually arrange the, the galaxy map to uh, they arranged the galaxy map to actually look like the galaxy or the star systems that were in Star Trek, and they've got every all the different uh, uh, all the different planets in the right spot, right? So you got the Vulcans in the right area, you got the Romulans in the right area, so everything kind of makes sense uh, with the show. Yeah, it's a complete overhaul of the the basic game too. Um, it's it's very true to lore, and and there's a lot, particularly if you're you know playing as the Federation, you can play as any of the nations in that mod. But I mean, if you play as the Federation, you get so much events that are from the show. Um, it really is a a big um, homage to Star Trek, and you get really get a cool Star Trek feeling from the the thing. Planets lose their Stellaris classes and gain Star Trek lore designations like uh, Intra class planet. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. And yeah, that would make sense that it's a major overhaul because of you know, Stellaris is, is a really good game, but it, it there are definitely some differences between you know like how Star Trek is set up and how planets are done with this. So I'm sure a lot of that is also just you know. Uh, uh, aesthetic changes more than anything else, you know, like 
changing names of stuff and whatnot. M class planet, exactly. Okay, what was I doing? I have no idea anymore. I got <laughs> distracted by the raid and distracted by everything. Um, okay, let's quickly go through here. Hold on. We have lots of unemployment. That's no bueno. And we actually do need to start taking care of this place. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and do... Just build one of each for now. Um, Sky Dome. What the hell is this? Oh. So we're going to do that in the meantime. Well, that'll get us some jobs for the unemployment rate. Uh, let's take a look at Valus Prime. Okay, that's taking care of that. Sure, there's white class daemons and others. Models are accurate. That's right. I do remember saying that as well. Models were very accurate. They they look like Star Trek ships, which are very cool. All my nations have their own models: Romulans, Federation, Cardassians, Dominant Dominion, Borg, and more. That's very cool. I think actually with the latest uh, uh, the corporate. DLC add-on that basically allowed the Ferengi to exist. The Ferengi were always kind of like a hit or miss in the mod, but with the uh, the corporate DLC that made the Ferengi very functional after that. Yeah, I don't remember if the Orion Syndicate was uh, in there. Okay, uh, one thing I was wanting to check out, let's take a look at this. Bull crap! how are they ahead of us? Oh, that's nonsense. Oh, that is nonsense. We were ahead of them. Oh man, thank you for the follow, Ron... Ronell? Yay? I'm horrible at reading names, so if I'm saying your name incorrectly, I do apologize. But thank you so much for the follow, I really do appreciate it. I, start, I should start playing this game, but without all the DLCs, I'm going to be very restrained gameplay. No, you should. I mean, that's a great way to start. That's how I first started playing the game. Um, I mean, generally speaking, Paradox games, uh, they love popping out DLCs like once every, you know, once every six months, they're, they're popping out a new DLC. And, um, you know, game the gameplay is going to change from time to time, but for the most part, it's really good. And if you're wanting a good intro... Just the base game is a really good intro to the game, so you should definitely check it out if you're interested. Uh, New Horizons was meant to be played without DLC. Really? That I didn't know. It's pretty cool, though. Have a nice night, guys. I'm off. Hey, we'll have a great night, Ronell. Again, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. And uh, thank you for the follow. I really do appreciate it. Have a great night. Yeah, Paradox loves making us pay for their ideas. I'm fine with it, to be honest. I mean, I've been playing. So okay, so I've been playing Solaris on and off since 2016. The game has changed dramatically, and I think for the better. Um, I I can't speak for some of their other games, Crusader Kings 2. I, I have not gotten very far with it. I have it. I've tried it. It's fun. Uh, same with Hearts of Iron 4. I've I have it. I've tried it out. It's interesting. Uh, the only other game from them that I've played a fair amount would be, like, City Skylines. Um, but, I mean, in both City Skylines and in Stellaris, I'm more than happy to pay them for their DLC. Concluded. Um, because they continue to work on the game and make a, make a bunch of improvements, and, I, and that's how they get funded to do it. So, I'm more than happy to pay for their mm -hmm. DLC. I just may not pay for it uh, I may not pay for it uh, right when it comes out. I may pay for it later, but I'm, I'm definitely willing to pick it up as we go, as I go along, and as they continue to put stuff out. 
Uh, what should we research? 158, 158. 172. We'll do the 158s. We'll do this one. At least I got Solaris for free. Ooh, that's pretty nice. I played... Uh, excuse me. I, I would assume that's Europa, right? Europa 2? Never played any of the Europa series. Um... I got Crusader Kings 2 in a bundle earlier this year and hit 800 hours. Damn. <laughs> That's quite a lot. That's impressive. I think I've played for like four hours, maybe three hours. I'm still trying to figure it out, but it's interesting. After I think after I play this, the next strategy game I will play is Crusader Kings 2. And then after that, I'll come back and do the New Horizons. Right, I always try to get all the DLCs too. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, that's the thing that I like about paradox is that you don't have to get the DLC to play it and a lot of the a lot of the improvements that come out with the DLCs tend to come out for free as well and normally the the stuff that you pay for is more the like the content not necessarily the gameplay features if that makes sense yeah Europa Universal Universalis 2 okay similar to Crusader Kings 2 okay okay Right now you have 1,600 hours in Stellaris. That is impressive. I don't know how, how much do I actually have in Stellaris. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't have nearly that much. I've got 200 hours in Stellaris. Um, so that is impressive. To be honest, Stellaris was the first uh, uh, strategy game that I really got into. Um, I think before this, I, pl I played like a little bit of. Uh, Age of Empires growing up, but I never really got into the, the strategy uh, gameplay very much. I, I always had a hard time getting into it. This is the first game that really piqued my interest and actually got me interested in it. There's the, con there's the continuation as well from Crusader Kings 2 to... Really? I did not know that. That's pretty cool. I did hear they're working on Crusader Kings 3. That's right. It's interesting. I, I gotta get further in Crusader Kings 2 before I buy their next game, though. That's... That's... Uh, yeah. That's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I loved Age of Empires growing up, but... It was just more for, like, just battles. The, the strategy didn't really make a lot of sense to me. At that time, it was just, oh, there's cool units. Cool. Yeah, not, nothing too crazy strategy-wise. And I'd always end up losing to my buddies who, who played the game. In fact, I, know, I didn't actually own a good PC growing up, so when I played these games, I'd only play them at other people's houses, right? So, it was always I was always playing at my buddy's house, and he knew how to play, and so... When we, when we did play, it was normally me getting my butt handed to me. Sixteen hundred hours, and I got only seventy six percent of achievement. Wow! I was like, you're not trying enough with the, uh, the, the the different play styles. If that's the case. The only reason Age of Empires is not my favorite game is because Dungeon Siege exists. Ooh. I've heard good things about Dungeon Siege. I, I actually need to go check that game out. There, I, there was a time where I tried to get a lot of games, and it just ended up being way too, way too expensive. So I just started just recording which games I thought was good, and I have a backlog of stuff I need to get, and I've got a backlog of stuff that I have that I've bought on sale and I still have yet to play. Oh man, um. Isn't Dungeon Siege like an old Microsoft Construction game? Construction project concluded. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. From 2002. Mm -hmm. Fantastic Retro Game is Freelancer. That I have actually played. Very interesting game. Kind of reminiscent to... Uh, not kind of reminiscent to, but the... The game right now that I've... That I'm aware of... Hold on, let's, let's go here. Wait, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, Elite Dangerous makes me... So like, the, the times that I have played Freelancer, um, having played Elite Dangerous reminds me a lot of that. Just with, you know, updated graphics and a more convoluted control system. Um... It was called Diablo Killer for... by a few... Really? Dungeon Siege? See, that's the thing. I remember hearing about it, but I don't remember it being... You know, the Diablo Killer. That's interesting. Yeah, Free Freelancer was really good. Uh, I should look for a retail copy because I never bought it. Freelancer? I remember buying it... Um, at like Office Max back in like 2006. It was like one of those games where it didn't come in like the, the big fancy box. It came in just like a CD. Just like a regular CD case. You know, you get it for like 10 bucks at Office Max. Because let's face it, nobody, nobody ever bought any of those games specifically. So. Ooh, why did this drop to 600? I don't remember that being... What the hell? Oh, I wonder if that's... Oh, I wonder if that's doo-doo. Okay. Okay. Hello. Chim order dropped. Okay. Now that's interesting. Here, hold on just a second. I gotta just quickly take a look at this. Is this... No. What am I doing? Let's go to just one of the stations. Well, it's still plus four. So where's the drop coming from? Reduction by 20% due to Federation contribution. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay, I understand now. I do understand now. I have no idea if any of these are fine. I don't feel like I really want to go through here and deal with them, so... We're just going to go with them. Leave the auto, fine. And then we're going to... I think we do need to actually go ahead and... Set up... Start actually building some of these fleets. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Where is this and why? A crew? Sorry, sorry, I'm just trying to... Where are you? I'm not in control, he's what? Yeah, that's what I thought. Why did this even come up? Oh, because I pressed... Okay, that makes sense. Sorry, guys, I'll catch up with chat right now. Oh, man. I'm getting way too sidetracked. Oh, man. Okay, uh, let's go through here. Did you play the Star Trek? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw that Freelancer was really good. Yes, it was. Never bought it. Construction project it's reporting completed. a lot of bugs on Discord. Really? Okay, interesting. <clears throat> it's basically gone forever, lol. I downloaded it from a retro site. Still play it from time to time. You know, I think I actually have the CD. I might actually go get it. Hold on. I'll... Give me a second. Um, playing through the Diablo clone release this year. It's called Books of Demons. Is it any good, Step? I'm curious. I believe there should be retail copies around eBay. Sites and the like. Maybe some retail shops, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was actually pretty good. Freelancer was pretty fun. I enjoyed it uh, for the time that I did play it. I still didn't quite understand everything, though. I was still... Uh, trying to grasp everything and, and how the game was supposed to be played. Do you remember if New Horizons received any awards? Or was it only praised as best mod in 2016 by Rock Paper Shotgun? I don't know, actually. Pete, uh, Nori and Pete, do you know? Yeah, I don't know for sure. I know Stellar's team is, was so impressed 
they get early access to the new... Ooh! That is pretty cool. That, yeah. So that does mean that Paradox has some, you know... Or, well... Uh, yeah, they've got some respect for the team behind the uh, New Horizons. That is pretty cool. Hold on a second, though. I, I need to pause this. I'm gonna go see if I've got that freelancer thing. Hold on. One second. Yep, I was right. I still got it. My copy of Freelancer. Let's go to the chat screen for a second. Oh, hello. So... Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is in fact Freelancer. Am I correct? Because I remember buying this from... Uh, this said, I think it was Office Max or Office Depot. And this is a long time ago. And the interesting thing is, I did actually buy this like 2008. So that's that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy that even in 2008, this thing was in was at uh, 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 Office Depot or Office Max. And I remember picking it up for like 15 bucks at the time, maybe even 10. So kind of interesting. But I had a lot of fun with it. It was really cool. Um, a whole lot better than what I would thought it was going to be. So it, it threw me for a loop because I'm like, why is this so cheap? I know, right? 2008 feels like the dawn of DVDs. Yeah. Yeah. A long time ago. I, was in, I think it was like my, like my third year of college. Oh, man. decade ago. Longer. 11 years ago. It's crazy. Feeling old now. <laughs> oh, man. Rebels Galaxy is way harder than Freelancer for me. Interesting. Rebel Galaxy, I've looked into that a little bit. It looks pretty cool. And I can see what you mean. It, it does kind of have the same or similar feel to Freelancer. Back when Microsoft made good games. They still make good games. Well, I can't think of any that they've actually made recently. What have they made? I don't think they've actually made anything. I don't think Microsoft Game Studio has done anything in a long time. That's true. Very true. Sleeper hits happen a whole lot less often with the internet. It's way too easy for things to go viral. So. Gameplay plus story plus characters. All the pluses around, exactly. Yeah, I like getting old treasures like this, yeah. I have quite a few. I mean, I've, I have a pretty big collection of uh, 360 games, Xbox original games, PlayStation games, uh, PS2 games. I have a whole bunch of Sega Genesis and N64 games. Don't think I ever have any uh, SNES or NES, though. Thing is, companies are not making games with uh, the same character they used to before. I only have PC games. I uh, see. Growing up, I used to be a big console guy. I never used to have a PC worthwhile. Uh, growing up, it's only as I grew up and started getting into you know computers, and then actually getting into programming computers that I needed an actual PC, and then I started getting into PC gaming that way. Um, because then I finally had a PC worthwhile. So. 
I think I have more than 300 retail games and expansions. I don't have a lot. See, I, I, and I have uh, about nearly two games for PC now with Steam. Um, but before Steam, I don't have a lot, right? I've got... Um, I think I've got about a handful. I've got, like, Black and White 2. I've got... Uh, Freelancer, obviously. I've got, like, the old Sim, like, Sims 2 and Sims 1. Um, although I have no idea where Sims 1 is anymore. Um, but yeah, like, the, the physical PC games went out the window with Steam for me. And that was back in 2008 when I started actually buying Steam. So I think this may have been the last, the last physical game that I bought. If I count digital games, I have around 1,600. <laughs> That's impressive. That is impressive. Please tell me you got them through Steam sales. <laughs> Please tell me. You saved some money, at least. I have the big box collection of every WoW expansion until WoW Kata. Interesting. That's pretty cool. I'm sure there's some real nostalgia, because that's, that's like... Not so much a first of its kind, but like the first really successful game of its kind. Speaking of which, are you still playing through uh, WoW Classic Norway, Pete? I know you're playing that quite a bit. Um, okay. Hold on. Let's let's actually get back to doing something. Uh, shall we? Woo. Okay. Um, we need to do things, and we need to do them quickly. Okay, um, we need to upgrade this. And then I think we're gonna upgrade... Gonna double the jobs there. Okay, we're doing that. Poa on Eulis. Wow, there's really not much we can do here. Uh, we do already have growth discouraged. Okay, so we're fine. We'll do that. Let's get an improve there. Go to Poa. We'll have to see. How many jobs I should get taken care of once we deal with that. Um, Valus Prime, that's fine. We're actually not going to want to make that. We'll let the governor deal with everything. Um, Heisel. Okay. Okay. So that's three, six, nine. That's gonna add nine jobs. That's already gonna cover that. So we're gonna call that good. Get one of those. Saint Casper. And I haven't looked through these in a while. Unfortunately, the the governors they they'll build, but they won't upgrade. I was playing Ultima Online on fan shards back then, so I skipped WoW. Okay, that's understandable. Got a lot of cool art, art books and stuff, yeah. I think so. I try to get them for free or cheaper. Yeah, that's that's very good. <laughs> I do the same thing a lot. The, you know, whenever there's a Steam sale, I always... Usually, I go and I buy like two or three or five, sometimes six games <laughs> at a time, depending on how cheap they are. Um, yeah, max level rating now. Ooh, that's cool, Pete. You've seen it on Steam? Okay. Nice. I'm not sure. So what is NFS? Oh, Need for Speed. Need for Speed Heat 2. I didn't realize that they were actually still making Need for Speed games. It's been a while. Aaron Prime. And adds three researchers. Oh, let's go ahead and do that. Um, that one's fine. That one's also somewhat... I'm somewhat wary of doing anything quite yet. 
Varum Prime, there's really nothing else we can upgrade. This will add three, so that should help there. Um, okay, we'll do that in the meantime. Kofefe. Eh, I don't really want to do much here. Planetary capital wise. Yeah, Kokofefe is the system capital. Why are we not upgrading? Oh, we need 80. We're down by. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. Yeah, need for speed. Mm -hmm. It's EA, doesn't it? Uh, does it surprise you? What do you mean? Need for Speed Heat seems to be the best uh, by... Oh, you're talking about whether or not Need for Speed is still going on. Not really. I mean, they they stop stuff and restart stuff all the time. Need for Speed Heat seems to be the best by Ghost Games by far. Pretty cool. They're offering one month of EA Access Basic for free in November if you can activate uh, two-factor authentication in Origin. <laughs> really? That's amazing. I'm interested, though, because EA... I mean, let's face it, EA has basically come out and said that they're actually going to start putting games back on Steam. Which kind of blew my mind when I heard about that. I think it was yesterday. In fact, it may have been today. I finally, we, we finally got confirmation because they actually now have pre-orders available on uh, Steam for the new Star Wars game that's coming out. So... It's kind of cool. I'm, I'm kind of glad to see them starting to put stuff back on Steam again. But then again, I was relatively fine with the idea that there's, uh, uh, you know, that there's more competition in the marketplace for, you know, other digital marketplaces for games. So I don't know what to think, to be honest. I'm excited for it, yet I'm also apprehensive. I'm not quite sure what to think. Yeah, the Need for Speed series fell a lot after EA, EA disbanded Black Box, yeah. It's, it's always sad when companies get shut down for basically dumb reasons. You know? So, it, it would, would be nice to see Need for Speed rise again. Uh, uh, and do well. I just don't know how, you know, how well it's going to do. Yikes. Okay, if we upgrade this... Three... Six and nine... I'm always down for more competition, but EA Stroke was uh, trash. It's a good name for a game. Need for Speed, Rise Again. That would be pretty cool, right? Oh, gosh. Heisel. Where is Heisel? That would be... Yeah, but yeah, that would definitely be a, a good name for a Need for Speed. Where the hell's Heisel? Um, there it is. As a prime. Oh, and we're already trying to deal with that as is, so that's fine. Research concluded. Research is concluded. Ooh, there's the art installation. Okay, new research, please. Um, increase food, naval capacity. Wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, we, we want naval capacity right now. Everybody wanted Underground 3, or New Most Wanted. That, a New Most Wanted would be nice. I remember, I remember them hyping that thing to, you know, up and down the wazoo uh, when they first did the, the Most Wanted. I never really got into it, though. I mean, Forza... 
Forza seemed to be, has, or not seemed to be, but has been my racing game for the last couple of years. Um, particularly Forza Horizons. I love, love, the first one was a lot of fun. Enjoy the second one. I still need to try out the third and fourth ones. Um, I haven't really been that into Need for Speed game for a while, for a long time. Um, stuff needs to be upgraded. Okay. Let's go through and see what's going. Okay, so we, we've got this sector somewhat. Construction taken project care of. concluded. Somewhat being the key word here, because we still need to deal with that. So that'll add one more job there. It'll leave us with four. Do that and that, so that'll get us five and six. What are we doing here? We are getting a ton of volatile notes. So that's good. Construction project concluded. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do here with this Skion. Ooh, Skion Prime. I'm also going to put on this, uh... Uh... Discourage Planetary Growth. Earth is fine. Alpha Centauri is fine. Ceres is relatively fine. Mars is... Okay. Arcadia is not doing well. Oh, but that's right. That's right. A ton of people coming in just as uh That's right. How about that? Speaking of which is people a whole bunch of people we need to be uh reorganizing here. Okay, anywho. Anywho. Um, let's go to not this, uh, military fleets. Gonna reinforce them, get their last few ships that they need. Um, then we need to actually start building up fleets. Well, not fleets, but, you know, building up, uh, ships for the Federation, so... Let's go ahead and go to our shipyards. Come on. There we go. Actually, sorry, one second. Oh, that's right. We need to give this back, actually, to the, uh, whatchamacallits, the Gandalf Alliance. These, these star systems right here were all part of the Gandalf Alliance, and when we integrated with them, they came to us. So we need to actually give these back as soon as we can. Who's dying now? Damn it. Uh, but we do have a governor already available, so that works. Okay. Strike Force Epsilon, for whatever reason, is not being upgraded. Was not upgraded. Um. Sorry, I, I, I gotta go through all these different things. Okay. Anyway, back to what I was doing. Shipyards. We need to be actually putting forward Federation Corvettes. Build one. 
two, three, four, and we can't. Construction. Oh, uh, we don't have concluded. a. That's right. We don't have that there. Okay. So many, yeah. It's unfortunate, uh, but it's what ha tends to happen when uh, one of your vassals has somehow gone uh, xenophobic. So they're kicking out anybody who's not, you know, part of their uh, part of their race. Kind of unfortunate, really. Particularly as I integrated them and then created a vassal from them. They should have had. They did have our ethics for a while, but then they turned and went xenophobic. So I was not happy about that. I think the other thing that bugs me is also that they. Uh, They don't seem to allow me to decide where refugees go. So many times they go to like certain planets. They go to like system capitals, right? So like they've they've gone to. Oh, Arcadia is not a capital. Capital for whatever reason. Like they've they've gone to like Arcadia. They've gone to Targon. They've gone to places that are the least equipped to deal with them. So it's it's kind of frustrating. And then that creates a whole bunch of unemployment, and then we can't do anything to help out with that. So it it makes for a not good situation. Right now I'm just trying to build up the Federation fleet. Contributing my fair share. Construction project concluded. I think you can get a bonus, so I don't have to actually devote as much. Construction project concluded. Now, do I actually have control over these guys? Is the oh, I think I do. So that's interesting. You like that. Construction project concluded. I get that a lot. Let's go here. Project concluded. That one will be taken care of. can only support three titans. That's fine. Gym order is now ahead of us. Okay. Our fleet strength, though, is considerably better. If I'm reading that correctly, we are pretty much three times their fleet strength.
Speaking of which, I actually forgot. Do I need to add some more planets in place? I have so many. Um. Yeah, that's only nine though. Let's go to the expansion planner, shall we? Go well, based on size. Is surveyed and is colonizable. Um. Where are you? Right there. Where are you? Down there. I don't want to colonize down here because I, I want to eventually give these back to the uh, Gamma Rev Alliance. That's an interesting one. We could actually start colonizing out here. We haven't done any colonization out here, so that would actually be a rather interesting one. Um, where is this one? The only problem with that is that would be mainly a city one. But that would make for a... Because we could make it a paradise planet based on the... Uh, Atmospheric hallucinogen. That'd be interesting. Somewhat okay. Districts are relatively fine. So now that's actually in our district. Okay, so I think we'll do this one. Um, who do we colonize with? ocean world, so we need somebody who's got an ocean world preference. There we go. The Obevni. Uh, another one of these... Uh... Ugh, which one do we take? Charismatic. Like that. And we'll take these guys, the Obevni. Well, this version of the Abevni, anyway. Come on. Come on, game. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Yeah. We always like to do the system name plus prime. So at least we know that. If there are any secondary planets in the system, we then randomize the name. Okay, so there's that one. Where's Mirror's M2? That would be our first one in the system, so... That's a big one, too. Love our choice of options there. It's a Gaia world. Which I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. So what we could do is we could put humans here. It worked. No, 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 no. Okay, we've got three different versions of humans. I don't know why. Should only have one. There we go. sector. An existing sector. I like it. I like it. Zion. Zion. Sorry. And it's an Arctic world. We should have plenty of options available. And where's the meta chim? Those chim are relatively fine. Chim. I 
Why do I have so many of the same species? Holy cow, I need to go through them. You know what, screw it, we're just gonna go with the top guys here. Chim. There we go. Whiskey on two. Actually, not bad. Arid world. And because it's the second planet in the system, we're going to give it a randomized name. Alphamenia. Ew. And our gateway's constructed. Perfect. Uh, Nova Antioch. That's an interesting one. Next on the, uh, I don't know why, I, but I like Tartarus for this planet. Do that name. Okay, um, so we've got... Speaking of refugees, here's a whole bunch here. Except our Star Collective, so that's not from us, that's from the other... Whoever they are. Mm -hmm. uh, but that is from our vassal. Or mm -hmm. Or from our vassal. Mm -hmm. Or from our vassal. Or from our vassal. Holy mm -hmm. cow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Targon Prime, Valus mm -hmm. Prime, Oa mm -hmm. Prime. Going to places that they shouldn't be going. Yeah, we just got an influx of freaking 12. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe it's just one at a time. I don't know. No, no rock people yet. I uh, haven't bought that DLC yet. Uh, might eventually. Actually, I probably will eventually. I already have it on the wish list, so I'm just not ready to get it yet. Um, there, there was a way to look at your unemployed. There we go. Okay. Um. Yeah, they're refugees. Refugees. All these guys are refugees. A lot of them from the Sibulon. For my own vassal, basically. Who are kicking out people. For no reason, and I don't like it. Whatsoever. And that's making life kind of hard. Particularly as I can't, like, decide where they go. Let's go back to the shipyards. Let's see how we're doing. Construction project concluded. Okay. Federation, Federation, Federation. Okay. Take a look at these fleets. Wrong one. This is what I wanted to do. We're we're gonna want to actually try and combine a bunch of these together eventually. Make them into like maybe two or three different fates, but right now they're just 
sitting as their own where we actually built them. another governor. It's always interesting when you get to a point where a group of people will just start dying at any given time because they're, you know, all around the same age. Okay, um... You know, we're gonna go with this guy just because he is cheaper. Oh man, and it is actually getting quite late. It is 12 o'clock, it's midnight for me, and I actually need to head to bed. I work in the morning, and uh, yeah. It's been an interesting night. Uh, we've got quite a bit done um, in terms of trying to deal with our little war here against the Uncana Vestige. Interesting interestingly enough, I was able to get this system right here, which I wasn't expecting. Glad I got, but wasn't expecting. Um, we were able to, though, federate with the Chim Order, which is a, a nice plus. Um, finally got into our federation, and we're right now in the middle of building our uh, fleet, basically. Um, I was trying to think of what else. What else did we do? We got this gate set up right here. I believe it's actually now completely finished. Right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Just for whatever reason, the image here looks all broken and whatnot. Um, so yeah, it, it's it, at this point, we are very close to finally ending the game. I, I think we need to basically conquer these guys because they are very aggressive against us, and then we're going to have to try and see what we can do to make things better in terms of our relationship with the Exodar Star Collective. I think if we're if we're able to get them into a federation with us, which would be the more uh, uh, preferable option than conquering them, um, would be better. But uh, I don't know what's going to have to what's going to happen, and I, I assume that they are going to, at some point, try and start another fight with us, so we'll have to see what happens there. Um, but yeah, that's going to have to be it for me. Um, thank you guys for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. It's been a fun night. As I said, we've got a lot done, and um, had a great time. Thank you guys so much for the raid from... Uh, I want to say it was McConnell... Mick Connell, Mick. I may not be saying. I want to say it's McConnell TV. Mick Connell. I gotta be saying that correctly. Yeah. McConnell TV, thank you so much for the raid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm super weird and well, not super weird, but I'm I'm just uh uh I'm paranoid about. You know, saying things correctly, and I'm not sure there should be Mick McConnell. It should be just McConnell TV. So, thank you so much for the raid from McConnell TV. Um, I believe he was playing uh, some Stellaris as well, Pacifist playthrough, um, and he said he hated Pacifist, which I really understand. It's a rough playthrough when you're playing as a Pacifist playthrough. So, um, you guys should definitely go check him out. He was nice enough to raid us, so I'm going to give him a shout out if anybody is not familiar with him. You guys should definitely go check him out. Um, and of course, thank you for the follows from everybody from his stream. Uh, Angry Zero. I believe that's what you said <laughs> your, your name is supposed to be. Angry Zero. Uh, McConnell TV, of course. Ronell. Ronell Yay. Um, and thank you to the guys who've been hanging out and chatting and talking. Um, obviously Norway Pete, he's a longtime friend of the stream and follower. 
uh, uh, staff one, angry zero, um, 420, chronic bomb, and, uh, ooh, staff one, thank you so much for the follow, I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, let's go through the names, I always, I always like reading through the names, 420, chronic bomb, alpine kitty, anger, zero, uh, ball boy, 7777, uh, B T R N D L B Turndle Cassius Carl Collation 69 Kraus G Kraus G uh, Darth Stiv Death by Fro <laughs> I like that Death by Fro uh, Devon is a UA D Grey Brill uh, Dredge for Life uh, L Far R5 Man or a five man. I'm trying to think if that's a thing or Lars man. I think that might be one way of reading it. Uh, Medi FR, nor AP, obviously. Uh, Paradisius, Paradoxum, Ramen Chef, Sauce 117, Scaper 77, Spartan 926, Staff 1, and T. TC Armored or T. Carmored. Thank you guys all for hanging out in the chat. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you guys have enjoyed the stream so far, please consider hitting that follow button. Um, and if you would like uh, to see when I go live, Twitter and the Discord are the two best places to see that. Um, as well as on the Discord, I do have a schedule for what I'm doing that week. You'll get to see when I go live, or when I'm planning on streaming and what I plan on streaming. Um, as well as a chance to vote to see what games we play for that week. Um, right now, I'm, I'm rotating through Stellaris, No Man's Sky, and um, Satisfactory. And we just beat Broken Age uh, last night, so that was our indie game that we were playing at the time. I think I'm just going to stick with a three for now, finish off one of those three, either Stellaris, Satisfactory, or No Man's Sky, and then we'll move on to something else. Um, also, if you'd like to see how we started with this playthrough, I put all my streams up on, uh, all my VODs up on YouTube. You guys can go check that out there. Um, you can see, particularly with Stellaris, you can see how we started over here, just in the sun system, and expanded out that way. And, uh, yeah. But that's gonna be it for me, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great night. And, um, hope to see you guys around again soon. Um, let's see if there's anybody we can actually send you to, since we still have uh, 23 people in here. Um... I'd like to see if we can't try and go raid somebody else. Let's go see who is around Stellaris. At least try and get you guys in with another Stellaris stream. Go ahead and, and hit up one of these uh, another smaller Solar stream. Uh, Renard the Raider, traveling the universe. He's playing some Stellaris as well. Let's see if he's at least got some English content. As I figure most of you guys are English speakers, or at least somewhat understand English. Um, speaking in English, and he is going pretty well. So, um, I think we'll go ahead and raid him. So, yeah, why don't you guys go ahead and give him a... Uh, uh, we'll go check out his stream, or when we send you guys over to him. And, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and slash raid. And make sure I've got the right name. go. Cool. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Let's go raid Reynard the Raider and uh, see if we can't try and uh, give him a nice little surprise. So have a great night, everybody. Thank you guys for hanging out, and I will see you guys uh, later. Bye.